immediately you say, no, kill him. No, I don't want to see that person anymore. Maybe he can become your best friend. Maybe he is the salvation of your life and you're not aware. Maybe if you're going to solve the issues that you have with yourself, he's going to be your best friend. People are jumping to conclusions. No, I want to divorce. No, I can't stand those fights anymore. I can't argue with her anymore. No, she was insulting me. No, he was, insul he was hurting me. She was... Relax. Think about it. Try to put your heart into all of those arguments. Try to, ex to, to explain to yourself what really happened over there. Maybe you're going to find something that you can work on yourself, that you're going to fix it, and in that moment, you're not going to fight with her anymore. She will be completely happy with you. You're going to be the best friends. People that are calling me and talking to me about divorce, I'm rejecting 99% of them. 98% of the people, I'm telling them, no, she's right. No, he's right. You are selfish. You are lazy. You're not lazy. You're not selfish. You're not in depression. You're not in sadness. And then after three, four days, suddenly they're calling again and saying, you know, I was thinking about it. And yes, I do love my husband. Yes, my wife, she's got amazing points in her. You're right. It was obvious already from the beginning. But you don't want to deal with the fact that you are lazy. And the one that is waking you up to understand that you're lazy, she becomes to be your worst enemy. But why won't you work on your midah and, and, and get rid of that bad midah? And won't be lazy anymore. And then also your <coughs> wife will be more happy from you. But also you will be more happy from you. Because the first one that is suffering from your laziness is you.